Hello again. This time, TV monitor, Samsung LED. Doing it on the bed, so pretty limited space. On the box, there is a yeah TV and monitor, pretty heavy box. Let's just open it. And there it is. Oh, the camera was too low. Sorry for that. That will be the better view. What's in the box? Lots of stereo foam. There's a power brick. Simple cable. Okay, let's put it on the side. Something here. That's a stand. Okay, so it's sealed. That's Open it. A glass sealed, a little blue, blue color. Yeah. So there you have it. That's the glass piece of stand. That's the piece of stand. Basically, the leg of the monitor. Have to be sealed. And there's the there's the stand. Yep. There's some cables here, power cable and uh, data cable, it's VGA cable I think, oh. two AAA batteries included, VGA cable, put this back on. power cable, simple power cable, Manual and some stickers and CD. We want to unpack this unnecessary factory seal remote. And there's the remote. Pretty standard for the Samsung TVs. Standard remote. You press right there and it should hmm. Hmm. won't move you know how do you how do I supposed to see the monitor itself amazing I try to open the remote because I cannot open I don't want to break anything and what I found there's no manual here there's 10 freaking uh, wa warranty cards there's one warranty card second warranty card third another one and another one and another one and another one no manual, just warranty cards. What the hell? Where's the manual? That's crazy. I don't need 10 warranty cards. I need one ma warranty card and one manual. Jesus. So I don't know, do I have to press this? It won't. It won't go. I don't want to break the remote. 
Okay, let's see the monitor itself. There's the, there's the monitor. Smells really nice. Let's take the box aside. And sorry for the wrong angle in the camera. Let's take the cover off. So there's the monitor. Someone don't touch it right there. I don't know why. But it is a there's a stain on the side. Hand. What's the connection of this monitor? Those are the connections. Antenna, USB, two HDMI's, power, a PC DVI audio in, VGA, SCART audio right and left, and video clocks in. Remote for the menu is right there. Card goes right there. I think that's it. Let's try to install the uh, stand. So, how to install this freaking stand? Well, two holes right there, two screws right there. I think it's going in this direction. Maybe in, maybe like this. No, I think it's like this. Forward. Two screws is here. So let's screw this in. Well, what I need? I need, it, I need a screwdriver. No, I need a screwdriver for this. Okay, so I have the screwdriver. Forward, let's put this forward and screw it in. Should be super easy. Tight, no. yeah. Just a little force, not not too much. We don't want to break anything. Should be steady. It is steady, transparent. So now, what we need to do is, uh, I think, yeah. Now, let's place it like this. Try to mount the monitor. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there's a hmm. It's not not all the way in. Now it's all the way in. So okay. I forgot to show you that there's a vessel mount right there. No movement. No, you cannot move this stand. So there's a fixed position. You cannot do anything with this position. And yeah. Now all I have to do is wait until it's uh, because it's too cold and uh, there's some evidence of uh, condensate moisture so because uh, it's very cold outside and it's and it's warm inside so we have to wait about one or two hours to level the, the temperature in the inside the device 
Okay. See you in one hour. There's the TV. You press the source and change to TV. This is SD signal, not a digital sig signal, it's analog signal. So, because I, I, I couldn't find the, the digital signal, I don't know why. HTM wait. But even in the analog signal, it's pretty good. Let me. Some lost. It's pretty loud, pretty good. And changing uh, oh. See? It's pretty quick, okay. There we have it. Okay, so that's the PLS panel. You put it on full screen. Sony demo. And this is the VA panel. Maybe like this. It says one one eighty and it's four K lo logo right there. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. There's no now there will be no light on the back, so should look better. I don't know if you're able to see the difference. The PLS is a little more vibrant. Hmm. And a little more darker. But I think it's the setting, because the settings are not uh, identical. They are pretty close, but they are not uh, identical. Yeah, like, like you saw here, the green was much vibrant in the left screen. That's the PLS. Let's see the angles. Hmm. A little more brighter, yeah. And from this side. Oops, 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 oops. Not bad. Angles are pretty, pretty good. Demo is ended. Now let's see the menu in this. Uh... Monitor. One second, I have to connect it. Yeah. Oh, anyway. So, there's the menu. Oh, come on. So the menu is in Polish, so I, I didn't... Let, let me change the language to English, it'll be 
better for everybody lot of languages here so that's the English picture so black like brightness sharpness that's what I like you, when you have the sharp, the sharpness adjustment because sometimes the picture is not sharp enough and response time now is in the fastest picture size okay pip picture in picture so you can source size small big and position of course and select the sound from picture in picture on the main screen let's turn this off advanced setting okay picture options how they mean black levels now it's on low and now it's a normal and that's why the the screen was a little bit darker picture off yeah sound mm -hmm. application so that you can uh, put the USB stick in and fire the video pictures whatever system language time eco solution general change pin yeah I think that's it software update and stuff like this I think it looks good yeah There's one problem with this, with this, um, I mean, it's not with the screen. The screen is perfect, no dead pixel, nothing. It's problem with the remote. And I will show you in, in, in a second what's the, what's the problem with this remote. The screen is great. I don't think there's a huge difference between PLS and this VA. You really don't see it. This one is connected through the display port and this one is from HDMI. Okay. So let's see this faulty remote. So some more light here. So there's the remote. You can see from this TV monitor and it won't open. The but the battery cover won't open. You have to press and it down it won't open I'm using a lot of force look at my finger look at my fingers my fingers are burning right now it won't fucking open sorry for the cursing I don't know why but this won't open to replace the remote so there we have it that's the PLS monitor oh, there's a lot of light here okay so I think that's it recommend this product great 
for gaming and great for TV and brow and browsing. It's pretty good. And it's pretty cheap. Because uh, this one is almost twice the price of this one. But this one is 27, this one is 23. But twice the price. And the difference is, and the, there's not much difference here. So. Okay. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.